What's up everybody, my name is Dyson. This is my YouTube channel where I'm gonna be posting videography and photography tips, uh, as long as anything else to do with the industry. Uh, so for this video, it's really easy. I wanna just get right into it, talking about how to get into videography and photography. What's amazing is that videography and photography is all about storytelling. You don't need a red camera, you don't need $20,000 lighting equipment. Really, in all honesty, all you really need to start is this, your cell phone. So when you're starting, you don't need to get all caught up into what gear do I buy, how much do, can I afford, what's this and that. It's as simple as just starting to shoot your own content. I know I personally started with a Canon T3i, which I bought used for around 200 Canadian dollars. And for me at the time, that was a lot of money because I was in high school, I didn't have that much money. And I worked with what I had. I started with that, then I moved my way up to an Olympus. After my, I had my Olympus, that's when I started filming a lot more. And I realized that shooting content and practicing with what you have is way more important than not doing anything at all and just having a wish list of gear. Tip number two about working videography and photography is it's not all about working that big budget production. It's all about what can you do at the beginning, what can you start with, and what can you do with what you have. It's important to learn the fundamentals of videography and photography before you even get into the crazy amount of money you can spend on cameras, and which we all know is a lot. You can build up your portfolio and you can show that off to clients. And once you can show that off to clients, you can just continue and continue to build up your portfolio and get more and more clients as each day goes by. Tip number three is basically start networking as much as you can. So obviously when you're beginning, you're not gonna be able to get those huge clients. You're not gonna be able to show off somebody a portfolio that you don't have. You can start off so simply by asking friends, family, anybody you know whether or not they need a video and start off all your projects for free when you're first starting out because obviously you don't have that ability to make the money right away. And once you can give them a great quality product and a good turnaround time, it's super easy to start building that friendship. And once you have that friendship, they'll start spreading the word around that you're a videographer. Another super important tip that I can give is to start shadowing local videographers and photographers that you look up to. Offer your services, whether that's behind the scenes video, behind the scenes photo. Uh, I personally shadowed Visuals by Royal Z and I learned so much and I wouldn't have learned any of that stuff if I didn't shadow Visuals by Royal Z. Another super important thing is to be networking. You need to start reaching out to clients. You need to start reaching out to other videographers and photographers, whether they're in your area or not. It's important that you start talking to them, asking them for tips, asking them what would they do in, in their situations or learn how about how they started. To start learning from other people and taking inspiration from what they do. So I look up to guys like Jacob Owens from the Buff Nerds, the 97. He's a great photographer within the Toronto area. Um, Guys like Visuals by Royal Z, Fisk Films, Visual Boulevard, Ashley Harris Captures, Maginet 44. These people, I look up to them. They have amazing work. I'll leave their links in the description below, so make sure you check them out. There's a huge difference between inspiration and copying, and it's important that you understand the difference. Copying is just taking someone's work and using it exactly the same way they had used it in your own videos. Inspiration is all about taking that idea and making it your own. And that's what's gonna make you a great videographer or photographer. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I wanna keep it super short and to the point. Um, those are tips that you can use if you're a beginner videographer or photographer, um, or even someone who hasn't even started yet. Those are tips that I personally had used in when I was beginning, and I found them super useful and super helpful. So if any of you guys are posting any new content, I personally would love to see it. I'll leave all of my information uh, in with links in the description below, as well as all the camera gear that I personally use in the description. Um, so that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and have a good one.